Hi, I'm Tom. That This is irrelevant, but I'm an artist and I live in Seattle and I make portraits mostly and I have a unique process and I wanted to show you how I do it because a lot of people don't know how I do it and I wanted to show you how I do it. So let's get out of the outside and go inside. Wow, my studio is a mess. I love sketchbooks. You can make art anywhere. But guess what? I'm home. So let's use the scale of a sketchbook and make some art right now. I need a selfie though. Click. Oh, looky here. Looky here. There's a stain. It will, it will do. do. All right, I'm drawing now. And uh, I'm going to speed it up because drawing takes a long time. I'm drawing lines with a pencil. Uh, pretty straightforward. Oh, I don't like this. I'm gonna start over. I'm under a lot of pressure. There's lights. There's gear. It's it's not like normal. Trying to make a video is hard, but I think this redo is gonna pay off. I'm feeling the lines. I'm in the groove. It's coming together. Yeah. All right. Now I'm gonna cut some paper stencils so that I can control where the ink goes. Um, they're little stencils. I, I try to create a variety of curves and ma I make two of them or more. And then, okay, let's get some ink on my finger and um, start coloring this portrait of me. And, um, you know, oh, man. it wasn't working right because I wasn't doing it like I usually do because I'm on a video. But, oh gosh, um, oh, it took me a little bit to get into the flow while there's cameras uh, burning through data. Um, but anyways, I can't let that bother me. I just need to move this ink around. I tend to put red and pink on my pointer finger, blue and purple on my middle finger, and orange on my ring finger. And there are times where I don't do anything, like here, I'm just kind of thinking. Yeah, I just move around the face sensing the color from the photo and trying to create the textures I want using stamping or smearing. I like the cross-hatching quality of the stamps and I use the paper stencils to help control the edges of the color and sometimes I use the foam tips of the brush pens directly. It's a long, long, long process and I was, wasn't sure how much to show you because I wasn't sure how interesting it is visually. So if you like this, please let me know. So yeah, I'm pretty good at wrangling color with stencils that I make. I like the stencils themselves. They're like little colorful creatures. Um, sometimes I can hold one or three with one hand. I can open caps uh, to pens with my other hand without using both hands. So I've gotten pretty good at, you know, utilizing each hand for separate purposes. Um, it takes, you know, some underpainting sometimes to make um, dark areas dark enough. Um, sometimes I'll just use the pen directly to do an underpainting of a tone and then do some texture on top of it. Oh, it's time to do some highlights. I love white gouache. It is fun. And I like to um, use the back of my brush to pull the, um, the, the paint um, into a little bit of a sharper stroke. Ink is unforgiving. Um, if you put the wrong color in the wrong spot, you're kind of out of luck. Uh, the more you try to get rid of it, the worse it looks. I developed this technique when I was working at my last job. I was doing a lot of sketches of my coworker Mike, and I needed a way to color them. But I'll tell you more about that later. For now, this drawing is done. I love it. Do you love it? Hope you liked learning about how I do this. If you want to purchase an original of mine, I have an original store. So come take a look. And if you like this video, uh, let me know because I'm wondering if I should make more. Well, draw you later.